All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, back for another Battle.net Blizzard launcher tutorial. And today we're going to talk about how to control your profile privacy. Simple answer is all you got to do is click on your name in the upper right hand corner, go to my profile. And this is where you can put in information that you want to share about yourself with other people or leave it blank. I leave mine blank. I don't really like to necessarily connect every last one of my accounts together. And in here you can do things like click on these little pencils to edit your personal biography. You can link other accounts in here and you can control whether or not your profile, which includes your friends and what games you play is available to the public. So if I hit this pencil, I can say it's only available to my friends, my profile's visibility. And then uh, the links here, the linked stuff is only available to my friends or my real ID friends or only to me. You can also do that with the profile visibility, public friends, real ID friends, which are like people that can see your name on here. Not everybody's a real ID friend. I actually forget how that works entirely. And then you can set it to only me. I like friends. Friends seems like a reasonable thing. And then the link visibility set to friends seems good as well. And I'll just go ahead and click on save. And now that information is only visible to people that I've already added to my friends list. And if I don't like someone or I completely don't trust them, I'm not going to add them to my friends list. So that kind of solves that problem. So I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a brief look at how to change your privacy settings on the Battle.net launcher, and you can combine this with the fact that if you click on your profile name in the upper right hand corner, you can change your visibility from online to away or to busy, which doesn't show you any notifications or just offline. Now, nobody knows if you're offline and if someone tries to send you a message, it'll treat it as if you're on offline so that they'll send the you know warning message. This person's offline. They'll get it when they next log in even though they're technically online and they can see it, it'll still act as if they aren't. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.